Now, Minister, you were just indicating um, that you were taking steps to eliminate conflict of interest, yet I'm looking here at a report from last year, 2023-2024, whereby uh, out of the 162 public servants that declared a conflict of interest, 38% of them were actually determined to be in a conflict of interest, which is an increase of 2% from the 36% um, before. So I'd like to ask you then, Minister, what is the value of the contracts of those 38% of public servants that were found to be in a conflict of interest? I will start by saying that the rule is that you must disclose all conflicts of interest, any real or perceived conflict. Indeed, and 38% were found to be, be in a real assessed. conflict of interest. So what is the value of those contracts of the uh, employees who were found to be in a contract of interest? What are Canadians on the hook for, for the double dipping of these individuals? Well, first and foremost, anybody that is not complied with the requirements in the directive will be subject to disciplinary okay, I'll try measures another question. Do we know who they work for? Up to and including Which departments the do they work for, Minister? Of employment. Go ahead. Min Ms. Minister, I don't know how you don't know this. We had a very serious situation with the head of Dalian, and we want to eliminate this in the future. This information should be at the top of your mind as to who is in a conflict of interest, the value of those contracts, and what departments they're working for. So well,